What up? What up? Happy Friday. Coming up on that Christmas break, right? Anyway, how y'all doing? I actually missed you guys. I haven't done a video in a minute, but that's neither here nor there. Since we are coming up on Christmas, obviously, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or whatever you, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever, right? Um, that we're coming up on. I'm going to do this early on because it's not just going to be on Christmas that this shit happens. We all really know about like holiday hoovers and all that stuff. So my, just my opinion and my advice from experience, obviously, is throw that narc back to the streets, okay? And leave them out there. Lock that door. Do not open that shit. That goes for phone calls, emails, and all that. So what's about to happen, more than likely, depending on where you are in your journey, in your journey, right, is that narcs, um, if, if you still allow access, I don't, so thankfully, but if you still allow access, you watch out. His mama going to try to call you. If he has a sister, it'll be that bitch, a brother, um friends that you thought were mutual that you either had already that ended up meeting the narc or that you met through the narc all of a sudden you'll miraculously start bumping into them or whatever what i want you to do all right is do not engage in any way shape or form if you have gone no contact okay and you threw that narc back to the fucking street Leave that trash in the fucking street. You don't go running back after a fucking balled up paper bag that's blowing in the wind. Alright? You let that shit roll wherever it go. Yeah, you littered, but hey, it'll make it somewhere. It's biodegradable. You'll be fine. Okay? So do that shit. Do not answer any of that. Because the narcissist will use especially that toxic ass mama. If his mama is alive, that bitch will reach out to you if you have open access. Which I suggest you cut that off, right? That bitch will reach out to you. And especially if you're like me where you have like a child with them. Um, I cut that bitch off. I didn't give a fuck. Fuck grandma. She's a bitch. So anyway, but say you didn't. They'll use the kids. Hey, what do the kids want for the holidays? Or, hey, by the way. And they'll say something about that narc that's, like, um, supposed to get your goat. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's dating so-and-so now. She's pretty. Or some shit. Man, don't even give yourself a chance to open your ears to that toxic-ass hyena donkey shit. Don't do it. So, as far as them streets, don't you sit there. Please don't sit there. And start getting into the Christmas spirit and start feeling like philanthropic emotionally. Philanthropic, what does that mean? Being a philanthropist, right? What is a philanthropist? Someone who likes to give, right? Charitably, right? Do not start getting philanthropic with your emotions. Don't start getting like, oh, well, you know, it is the holidays and Christmas and everybody needs love and it's cold outside. Fuck them. It's supposed to be cold outside for that bitch. They wanted the streets. They left you for the streets. And if you're anything like me, I released that dog back out to the streets that didn't want to be in the house. And guess what? They're going to end up just like those um, old ass old school cartoons where like there's a family eating Christmas dinner by the fire and shit. Fuck it. If you're not old school, you can even use the Grinch. Looking at the Who's and Whoville, just still singing, still dancing, still exchanging gifts, doing like the Christmas feast and shit. And they're looking through the window like a mime and shit, trying to, um, you know, with a sad puppy face, like, oh, well, you know, I could really use some holiday ham and I could really use some presents. I could really warm my hands by the fire. No, fuck you. Stay in the street. Okay? So, because what's happening to them in the street? via all the advice they took for them for from their toxic mother who more than likely undoubtedly fuck more than likely undoubtedly and their toxic ass family undoubtedly assisted in discarding you telling them to like get rid of your ass and shit that toxic family is going to abandon that narcissist during the holidays that narcissist like my ex narc had to beg them to pay any attention to him for the holidays he had to beg for money for christmas um he had to beg for birthday presents and shit like that you know what i'm saying he had to like beg 
for real like genuinely like beg on repeat you know what i mean so let that toxic family um have them and guess what they're not invited really to that toxic family's house not really because you're no longer there to make fun of or to watch like some kind of sideshow um you know the family likes to watch and see mm, what is he gonna do to this one because they've seen so many supplies come through that thing for real so leave them in the street you know what their shit's looking like because guess what well let's let's go with another scenario if you do take them in even for like christmas dinner not only will they not appreciate that shit they're gonna hate you for being nice okay they're gonna hate you case in point quick story so i can get back to what i'm saying I did that shit one time. It wasn't the holidays, but I was like, I know he's not eating well. And I shouldn't even have, like, given a shit. But as a decent person, I did give a shit before I actually got totally hip to the game. Invite him over, made him a lobster, a whole lobster and a whole filet mignon. Right? I was like, I know you haven't eaten and you haven't eaten well. He ate it and literally, as soon as he put the fork and knife down, he was like, you know what? Fuck you. And ended up leaving. I didn't say anything to deserve a fuck you. He was never like, you know, thank you for forgiving me. I totally didn't deserve that. And you didn't deserve what I did. No, if you're expecting that, that is never going to happen, sweetheart. Or, or bro, dude, sis, ma'am, sir. Whatever. They're not going to do that. So don't think that you're going to have some, um, you know, impact on them that's going to just change their hearts for the holiday. No. They'll come in there fuck up your holiday if you have kids are gonna fuck their holiday up too and not to mention they're going to more than likely around this time this season they're gonna be robbing you if they have any access to your accounts that you have not like put a stop to this is the season where they're going to be trying to steal from you energy money time sympathy all of that shit just so that your holiday and your family's holiday, if you have kids, your kid's holiday is fucked up. Because they know theirs is fucked up. They know they fucked it up. And they want to fuck yours up too. They want misery loves what? Okay, you know what the end of that is. Alright? But no doubt, don't let their mom, their sister, their brother, none of that shit. Don't let, no, not even if they have a kid that you met and you really like that kid. Sorry to say... Hope that kid does well, but fuck that kid too. No, don't let nobody from that family hit you up on the holidays, all right? Leave them in the streets because what the streets is going to give them, you know, that street that they were so anxious to run to because you're just so bad and gross for being kind, right? And they had to discard you, right? What the street is going to have for them is no sympathy, no presence, no fireplace to sit next to, none of that shit. The streets is going to give them STDs, um, no place to stay, so let's count homelessness. Um, the streets is going to add hunger, and what's going to happen for my ladies out there, their dick's going to end up, for real, this is why you don't want them back. This is one of the major reasons you don't want them back, other than the fact that they're cruel, demonic pieces of shit if you did take them back you can't even touch them you can't even touch them you can't be intimate not unless you're stupid because they're going to come back with the std that lame ass little dick of theirs or it could be a big dick but it's a big rotten piece of meat what the fuck is is the steak good for if it's in the trash can with maggots in it right would you still eat it what's well, a real big that that shit's a tomahawk yeah well the tomahawk has maggots in it so they're going to come back with that STD and their dick ain't really going to have work because that shit's been kicked around like a fucking hot dog dropped on a New York City street with teenagers running all across that shit on a hot summer day or a hot dog that's been dropped in the middle of the football field during the biggest Super Bowl ever and that shit going to get tossed around, kicked around, thrown side to side up in the air, through some little posts, goal posts and shit, hit the ground all busted up and crusted up and shit. Don't nobody want no crusty hot dog kicked around all over some hot ass sidewalk in the summertime ass dick. And if it's a female, I mean shit, her vagina's going to look like what? I keep telling y'all this shit. Her, her vagina is going to look like a wet fucking Tootsie Pop that's been dropped on a fucking dirty rug. And when you pick that shit up, it's going to be 
hair all over it, maybe a piece of cat litter or some shit, um, a, a lost bead from a bracelet some damn where, and some other shit that you just can't identify. You gonna put that shit in your mouth and cough all goddamn day till you die? No. Leave that shit in the street. Let the streets have the trash. A street sweeper will come by eventually and get that shit up. Street sweeper shit. I'm going to coin this phrase now. Let's start calling the toxic supply, new supply, or old, the fucking street sweeper. Let them buy early in the morning at all types of hours of the day and scoop that shit up off the, the shit. It ain't even the sidewalk. In between the little crevices, you know, um, by the sewer. Between the sewer and the street. Let them have that shit. You watch out for this Christmas holiday, Hoover. I know hearts are going to be warm this season. It's still cuffing season. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's cold out there. The narc forgot it was going to get cold. They weren't really thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Until it got cold. Wait till that shit get in the dead of winter. You really gonna start seeing some shit. Because they're gonna be thirsty. Hungry. Fuck them. You go have Christmas even if it's just you. Don't you dare go get sad. And if you do get sad, that's okay. It's okay not to be okay. But if you do get sad... Do that shit by your damn fucking self. You watch something funny on your phone, YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, whatever you got. If you don't have that, you make fucking, I don't give a shit if you're making shadow puppets and eating carry out. But you're not eating a diseased dick or vagina. So congratulations, pat yourself on the back. And you're not spending that time alone next to someone. It's lonelier to be alone when you're next to someone than it is to just be solo dolo. Enjoy that time by yourself. And if you have friends and family that are real, that aren't related to that narc, go chill with them or talk to them or call somebody or whatever. Or look out the window and just enjoy what I call street TV. You'll see the most interesting things from the window. Not in your home. Okay? So, I love y'all. I hope this resonated with some of you guys. I know it wasn't, like, completely geared towards one particular topic. But seriously, throw that narc to the street. If you've thrown them to the street, leave them there. And don't let the holidays fool you into thinking that your heart should be warming up to that person. They're not a person. They're a demon. And they would never appreciate it anyway. Okay? Stay safe this holiday. Stay happy this holiday. And even if it's you buying you something... Well, congratulations. That's actually dope. You're on your way to healing. I love y'all. All right. Bye.